fire broke out. Andy? Laura, investigators tell us the building behind me is a total loss. Now, friends tell us that injured firefighter is 35-year-old Josh Haynes. Now, according to investigators, Haynes, who's a volunteer firefighter here in Pleasanton, was the first responder inside that building to fight the fire. Within minutes, he was injured. His colleagues went inside and rescued him. From there, Haynes was taken by helicopter to KU Med. At last check, we're told Haynes, a father of three elementary school-aged children, is in critical condition. We spoke to one of his friends and neighbors who was here at the scene last night. He watched as Josh's fellow firefighters rescued him from the building. It touches home for a lot of people because, I mean, he grew up in this town and everybody knows him. You know, he's one of the first people I got to know when I moved to Pleasanton. Now, according to investigators, there's no sign of foul play with this fire. An ATF team is scheduled to come out here on Wednesday to get a more definite answer about what happened here. Also, it is not the first time Josh Haynes has been personally affected by a fire. We will have that part of the story coming up tonight at 5. Reporting live in Pleasanton, Andy Alcock, KMBC 9 News.